Hi students, welcome to Brilliant Katha. Here we have the discussion for the chapter Aldehydes, Ketones and Carboxylic Acid, the most important competency based questions. As you know, Aldehyde, Ketones and Carboxylic Acid is the longest chapter in our grade 12 organic part and many reactions are there. Mostly competency based questions you can expect from the area related to distinction test, chemical properties, etc. Okay, so let's see the first question. A carbonyl compound X does not give reddish brown precipitate with a filling solution. Yes, filling solution is given by, you know, only aliphatic aldehydes. Yes or no? Filling test is given by only aliphatic aldehydes. Aliphatic aldehyde. So, question which is not an aliphatic aldehyde, correct? So, propanol is an aliphatic aldehyde. So, that's not our answer. Diethyl ketone, yes, and uh, benzaldehyde, you know, it's an aromatic one, yes. So, either 2 or 3, either 2 or 3 can, cannot give which one Fehling's test. So, Fehling's test is given by only aliphatic aldehyde. Since it is a ketone and it is an aromatic aldehyde, it do not respond Fehling's test. So, either 2 or 3 is the answer. Second question. Given below four example in which the reactants and the reactions they are subjected to are started. Question, identify the example in which the major product obtained will be an aldehyde and in which example as it's a ketone. Can you identify? This is a preparation part they were asking here. You know cyanide is there. Cyanide treated with a diisobutyl aluminium hydride. What is that? Dibal H. You know, cyanide on reaction with the dibal H, yes, we will get aldehyde. We will get aldehyde. And what is this? Ester. Ester also react with the di uh, dibal H. It also give you what? Aldehyde. So, remember all of you, cyanide and ester, when react with the dibal H, yes, we will get aldehyde. We studied in the preparation part. Cyanide on reduction with the tin and HCl or iron and HCl or hydrogen with the uh, palladium and all. Yes, that will give you what aldehyde. Cyanide on reduction, we will get aldehyde. And uh, the, the one is given as the RCN. This is cyanide. Cyanide reacting with the Grignard reagent. What is study there? Cyanide when react with the Grignard reagent. Cyanide react with the Grignard reagent. Yes, what happened? That will give you what? Ketone. Ketone as a product. Ketone as a product. So, uh, actually this uh, nitro, we studied nitro on react with the tin and HCl or iron and HCl, hydrogen and palladium will get what? The, uh, that's amines preparation we studied there. Cyanide on reaction with the tin and HCl followed by hydrolysis also give what? Aldehyde. So, aldehyde is getting through LMN and ketone is getting through the O reaction. So, aldehyde is formed by LMN and ketone is prepared by O. Yes, answer is which one? B. So, preparation part, chemical reactions, everything we should be thoroughly study. Next one, a carbonyl compound produces iodoform. If a carbonyl compound giving iodoform test means you know that must contain CH3CO group. The carbonyl compound must contain CH3CO group then only it will give iodoform test. Okay. Uh, reaction with the sodium hypoiodide NaOI. Right. What is actually we are using to get iodoform NaOH and iodine. Right. Or we can write it as what NaOI. That's our sodium hypoiodide. Which of the following could the carbonyl compound be? So, which of the following compound contains CH3CO group? See all CH3, CH2, CHO. It do not contain the CH3CO group. CH3, CH2, CO. No. The exactly CH3CO group must be there. If this compound do not, this compound do not. What about third one? Yes, it contains CH3, CHO. Yes, dear. Yes, it contains that group. So, it can give iodoform test. What about this one? Yes. See the last part. CH3, CH2, CO, CH3. Yes, this compound also contain that iodoform group that, that can give it. So, 3 and 4 is the answer. Only 3 and 4 is the answer. So, if it is a carbonyl compound, aldehyde or ketone, if it want to give iodoform test, what must be there? CH3CO group must be there in the compound. 
Next question. A carbonyl compound X undergo the reaction given in the table below. It's giving positive tollens stress. What is mean by tollens stress there? It can be an aldehyde. It is giving iodoform test. It's giving iodoform test mean it is an aldehyde with a CH3CO group. An aldol condensation forms aldol product means it's contain alpha hydrogen. Yes. So which of the following could the compound X be? So dear, this is a aldehyde but it do not contain CH3CO group. It is a ketone. Ketone do not give tollens stress. What is the chance dear? Option C, CH3CHO. Yes. It is an aldehyde, it contains CH3CO group, it contains alpha hydrogen also, option C is the answer. Next question, which of the following, which of the following will give benzoic acid, which of the following will give benzoic acid, benzoic acid on heating with the alkaline KMN, you know KMNO4 and KOH, it's a strong oxidizing agent, you know it's first converted to cook later on H3O plus it becomes COOH, right? So acidified in the reaction mixture, all right? So which of the following can give benzoic acid? Dear, be, uh, what is this toluene? Yes, whatever the alkyl group, toluene, whatever the alkyl group on benzene ring, when it is treated with the alkaline KMNO4, it will give COOH. What about this one? CC is a propyl. There is a propyl group on benzene ring. Whatever, whatever the alkyl group on benzene ring that everything become what? COOH. Yes, it also can give. What is this? It's a ketone. What is this compound? Acetophenone. Ketone also on strong oxidation it become carboxylic acid here. All of them can give. All PQR can give. Which one? Benzoic acid. So whatever the aldehyde, ketone or alkyl group which is present on the benzene ring, when it is treated with the alkaline KMNO4, it is completely converted to what COOH, carboxylic acid. Now, one mole of carboxylic acid on heating gives one mole of the anhydride identify the carboxylic acid. You know, when two carboxylic acid, when two carboxylic acid join, I'll show you that. One of the carboxylic acid, let me take it, R-C-O-O-H. Another carboxylic acid, R-C-O-O-H. You know, this H2O cut, you will get R-C-O-O-C-O-R dash. That is our acid anhydride, right? So here they are asking, one mole carboxylic acid, here two moles are there. We, where you can get a uh, acid anhydride while taking one mole carboxylic acid. Here you may study that. That is our thalic acid. What is thalic acid? Thalic acid means benzene with COOH. Benzene with COOH. This is what our thalic acid. Benzene 1 to dicarboxylic acid. Right. So in this thalic acid, when you heat it, the reaction you may study, the H and OH can be cut and you will get a acid anhydride, thalic anhydride, you will get it. All right, thalic anhydride, you will get it. So if you, here only one mole carboxylic acid use, one mole thalic acid use, but you are getting anhydride. But these all, if you want to mix it, two of them we have to mix it. Benzoic acid plus benzoic acid, ethanoic acid plus ethanoic acid, methanoic acid plus meth, like that. So it's not possible that thalic acid, if we are using one mole, give you what? One mole and anhydride. Next one. Between four nitrobenzaldehyde, general question. Between four nitrobenzaldehyde, benzaldehyde and benzaldehyde, normal benzaldehyde, CHO, which will be more reactive towards nucleophilic addition reaction? Nucleophilic addition reaction. You know, nucleophilic addition reaction takes place on what? Carbonyl carbon. Because carbon is partially positive, oxygen is partially negative, right? Due to the difference in electronegativity between carbon and oxygen, you know, carbon is partially positive charge. So, nucleophile can attack there. Where the nucleophile attack faster is the question. Only the difference is nitro group. Nitro is an electron withdrawing group or minus I effect group. What happens if there is an electron withdrawing group? They will withdraw and make the positive charge on carbon more. So nucleophile can attack faster. So electron withdrawing group increase the reactivity of the uh, aldehydes towards what nucleophilic uh, addition reaction. Nucleophilic addition means there 
very careful. The carbonyl carbon should be much more positive. Then only nucleophile can attack faster. Nitro is an electron withdrawing group. It makes the carbon positive charge higher. So nucleophile can attack easier. Next one. The compound shown below is oxidized under vigorous oxidation. Vigorous oxidation means what? KMNO4 they used. How many different type of products will be? It's a ketone, right? Yes. We know aldehydes on strong oxidation, it will give you only one carboxylic acid. But ketone on strong oxidation, it will give you mixture of different acids. How it is that? So CH3, CH2, C double bond O, CH2, CH2, CH3. What happen if you made a vigorous oxidation on this one? Dear, can you see ketone group, ketone group? Left carbon, let me put it C1 and this is C2, this is C3. Alright, every time. Ketone, left side, you can ref or right, whatever. Left side, I am taking C1, C2, C3. It can undergo two type of breaking here. Two type of breaking. Means, maybe C1, C2 carbon bond can break. If C1, C2 broken, how many carbon left side? Two carbon, right side, four carbon. What is two carbon acid? 2 carbon acid is ethanoic acid, ethanoic acid. What is 4 carbon acid? Butanoic acid, butanoic acid, you will get it. Alright, but maybe C2, C3 bond can break. If C2, C3 you break, C2, C3 bond if you break, how many carbon left? 3 carbon, right side also 3 carbon. What is 3 carbon acid? Propanoic acid, so you will get? 2 moles of propano propanoic acid, 2 moles of propanoic acid. So question, how many different type of product you will get it? Ethanoic acid, butanoic acid, propanoic acid. So 3 type of acids you will get it. Write the structural formula of the all products. So clear all of you, when a ketone undergo vigorous oxidation, just consider the CO carbon as C2, left C1, right C3. C1, C2 you break. How many carbon left? How many carbon right? Their corresponding acid. C2, C3 break. How many carbon left and right? Corresponding acid you write. Yes. Next one. Write the structure of the product in the major. What you understood by this reaction? This is an aldehyde. This is an aldehyde without any alpha hydrogen. No alpha hydrogen and base is concentrated. Which reaction here? Cannes arrow reaction. If the aldehyde is do not contain any alpha hydrogen and the base is concentrated base, you know, it undergo Cannes arrow reaction. What is happening in Cannes arrow? One compound, actually two moles will be there, right? One of them become corresponding alcohol. So what is the product? Product will be third butyl will be there in which one more CH. That means neopendyl alcohol. CHO become CH2OH. One plus Second of this compound becomes sodium salt, sodium salt of its carboxylic acid. CH3, CCH3, CH3, COONA. So what is happening in Cannes arrow reaction here? One of the compound become corresponding alcohol. Second compound become corresponding sodium or potassium salt. Here sodium, so sodium salt of carboxylic acid. Then one of the product of an aldol reaction is given here HC double bond O, CH double bond, CCH3 single bond CH3. Name and write the structure of the reactants. Okay, so aldol product is aldol after aldol condensation, product is given. What is the reactants here? So very simple here. You try to cut the double bond part. Okay, double bond part. Okay, so add uh, uh, that. Uh, uh, here this will be actually this part what is this part HC double bond so aldehyde one part is there okay aldehyde aldehyde is there so what should be this one CH3 let me write here CH3 so what is our first compound CH3 CHO CH3 CHO plus because you know aldol condensation if it want to give the reactant should be what aldehydes or ketone right aldehydes or ketone so this is CHO so this is what CH3 ethanol plus what is this part? It should be a ketone part CH3, CO, CH3. CH3, CO, CH3. So this will be the two compound. So what is our answer? Ethanol and 
acetone or propanone ethanol and acetone when you undergo aldol condensation you will get this product name the electrophile involved in the formation of the product above the electrophile will be what the ketonic part the ketone part will be the electrophile so very careful about that you know aldehydes uh, aldehydes is there ketone is there where the electrophile the one which will if they ask the what uh, ketone will be the electrophile part then esterification what is esterification you know when a carboxylic acid react with alcohol alcohol right alcohol it's a reversible reaction that is the main point esterification of a carboxylic acid with an alcohol in the presence of a mineral acid like hcl and all as a in a catalyst is a reversible reaction yes so what forms actually carboxylic acid and alcohol when react we get ester plus h2o right esterification suggest two things suggest two things that can be done with the products formed to push the reaction in the forward direction it is our uh, 11th grade we studied there is a le chatelier principle the question is how you can make this reaction more forward if you want to make forward reaction since it is a reversible reaction the method is very simple whenever ester formed whenever ester form replace it remove it so and also water also remove it ester and water you can remove from the mixture so what happen as ester and water if you remove whenever it is formed product side concentration will be less so of course reaction shift from higher concentration to lower concentration so dear esterification is a reversible reaction so maximum try to remove the products ester and water from the mixture whenever it is formed so reaction shift more towards the right direction that is forward direction a compound x consists of carbon and hydrogen atom and one oxygen atom in a carbonyl group undergo the reaction as given in the table okay so tollens test is giving so tollens test is giving means as we said it is an aldehyde iodoform test is giving so it must contain ch3co group ready identify the product s that compound x will produce a on undergoing the aldol condensation reaction followed by dehydration so dear so let me can you give me a aldehyde with this formula that can be ethanol is or no ch3 cho ethanol this can be the aldehyde right so this compound uh, it, it undergo aldol condensation that means same one more compound is reacting in presence of a dilute alkali can you write the product here how you are writing the products in aldol condensation from a simple method from the second compound take one alpha hydrogen give to this oxygen so o become oh what is that in aldol condensation from the second compound take one alpha hydrogen give to the oxygen make it oh and connect these two carbon what do you have now ch3 ch o become oh connect here ch2 and then we have cho it is aldol because it contain aldehyde and alcohol they already said dehydration dehydration means what heat the aldol when you heat the compound oh and h water cut will get a double bond ch3 ch double bond ch single bond cho it will be but uh, two in one all okay so identify the product the product is this one and compound is what ethanol clear dear so that is the question so these are the questions from the chapter aldehydes ketones and carboxylic acid practice well